Why Narcissists Run Scare and Hide When They Meet Super Empaths Discover the 10 Secrets Greetings, beautiful souls. Ever found yourself entangled in the intricate dance of a narcissist and a super empath codependent relationship? Today, we're unraveling the dynamics of this complex connection where idealization lays the foundation. But here's the twist. The super empath, typically seen as the nurturing force, can transform into a formidable adversary for the narcissist. Before we dive into the enlightening exploration of why super empaths become a nightmare for narcissists, let's create a space for shared experiences. If you've ever navigated the delicate balance of such relationships, or if you're intrigued by the dynamics at play, tap that like button. New to our journey? Welcome. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to join our community of understanding souls. Now, let's venture into the profound reasons why super empaths can be the narcissist's ultimate nightmare. Share your thoughts in the comments. Your insights might be a guiding light for someone on a similar path. Ready to explore the depths of this transformative journey? Let's embark together. Number 1. Narcissists thought super empaths would stick around forever. Narcissists attract super empaths, but the empathy in super empaths eventually senses that this toxic relationship isn't doing them any good. Super empaths often stay in these unhealthy cycles because they convince themselves the needy person needs them. Their caring nature tells them to provide support even when faced with red flags. But when they finally wake up to reality, super empaths give the silent treatment. They no longer care about the narcissist's words. Super empaths value themselves and can sense when someone is draining their energy. They won't allow anyone to make them hate themselves. Once this realization hits, super empaths have no qualms about leaving the relationship. Number 2. Super empaths are independent. Narcissists can't stand seeing super empaths living their best lives without being fixated on them. Narcissists want super empaths to be just as obsessed with them, but super empaths understand genuine love, which is constant and real. In the relationship, super empaths act and think in a self-assured way, annoying narcissists who want attention. Narcissists try manipulative scenarios, but super empaths remain unbothered. Super empaths are self-contained, and they won't easily be shaken. How long can super empaths stay unbothered? Quite a while. Number 3. Super empaths make narcissists unhappy. Narcissists can't achieve the level of self-love super empaths have for themselves. Narcissists base their self-worth on others' opinions, and their self-image is unrealistic, only showing the good in them. When super empaths break free from codependent relationships, they thrive while narcissists regress. Super empaths see through the permanent flaws in narcissists and distance themselves, regaining happiness. On the flip side, narcissists stick to old habits and end up miserable. Number 4. Super empaths highlight narcissists' imperfections. Super empaths, with their insight, point out the flaws of narcissists during arguments. Super empaths make sense humiliating narcissists who refuse to accept their faults. Narcissists want to see only perfection within themselves, but super empaths expose their flaws, causing dissonance. Narcissists avoid accountability for the damage in relationships, hindering their growth. Super empaths try to mend things by pushing narcissists to become self-aware. Will this exhausting cycle last forever? Doubtful. Number 5. Narcissists are jealous of super empaths. Super empaths have the incredible ability to heal and become healthy again. They stand strong despite the scars. Actively regaining their strength, super empaths acknowledge their weaknesses and become better versions of themselves. Narcissists struggle to achieve this because they're stuck in denial, unwilling to change their toxic mentality. Narcissists revolve around delusions, hindering self-growth. When they witness super empaths bettering themselves without help, they become furious and play the victim. This toxic cycle is fueled by narcissists, not super empaths. Number 6. Narcissists can't fool super empaths. Super empaths may seem agreeable, but they're always onto the manipulative tricks of narcissists. Staying in a codependent relationship doesn't mean super empaths believe the lies. They hope for the narcissist's positive change while seeing the good in them. Super empaths know the danger but, being selfless, still hope for the narcissist's improvement. Narcissists, however, blindly believe they can deceive super empaths into adoring them. Quite ridiculous, isn't it? Number 7. 
narcissists can't overpower super empaths. Despite trying, narcissists can't match the emotional and spiritual strength of super empaths. While excellent manipulators, narcissists get frustrated when dealing with super empaths. The empath's intellectual power overpowers the narcissists, making them realize their weakness. Super empaths stay rational in arguments, displaying mental invincibility throughout the relationship. Narcissists can't handle this treatment, considering super empaths a threat to their ego. The relationship is unhealthy and unproductive, leading to emotional trauma that super empaths can recover over time. Number 8. Super empaths treat narcissists like children. Super empaths naturally speak to narcissists as if they were children. Why? Because empaths are emotionally mature, strong, independent, and psychologically sound. Narcissists dislike empaths' powerful side, yet they're addicted to empaths for validation. When super empaths present facts, narcissists react with an agonized complaint, playing the victim. Narcissists act like five-year-olds trapped in adult bodies. Will they ever change? Number 9. Super empaths encourage change in narcissists. Narcissists rarely see their faults due to constant praise in codependent relationships. Super empaths recognizing toxicity, push for self-awareness, and change in narcissists. Super empaths promote self-actualization, urging narcissists to address past issues and acknowledge mistakes. This annoys narcissists, disrupting their self-centered world. Number 10. Super empaths won't meet narcissists' expectations. Narcissists loathe failures and despise being failed by others. Despite hopeful attempts, super empaths understand that narcissism is a mental disorder requiring skilled therapy. Super empaths, brutally honest, hurt the narcissist's ego. In conflicts, super empaths stop showering compliments, making narcissists irrational. When super empaths rise from toxicity, narcissists become envious. Truth be told, super empaths deserve better in relationships. If you identify as a super empath, have you ever encountered a narcissist? Share your experiences and insights in the comments below. Understanding these dynamics is crucial for navigating relationships. Also, don't forget to check out the free book and details about one-on-one -on -one consultations linked in the description for more in-depth insights. Your engagement and experiences contribute to building a supportive community. Thank you for being a part of this conversation. Until next time, take care and stay empathetic.